And here is radishes. They seem to be doing pretty okay. This is the dinosaur kale. That's what they call it. It's very delicious. Oh, I tasted a few. Oops, sorry. Here's some more. And there's the red kale. I don't know what it's called, but it tastes pretty good too, with some garlic growing in it. Here's some more red kale. And in there somewhere, there's some kohlrabi that are trying to grow. I don't know if we can see any of them. They don't seem to like it, or the seeds were very old. And there is some more garlic. And the weed patch over there mm, got taken over by weeds. So, and this here is looking at the north side. There's one hill, another hill. I hope it's going to make a, a microclimate behind that hill on this side here where I'm filming. Because this is the south side and behind is the north side. And this is just a layout to visualize just some beds where the garden area is going to be, or certain some of it. I have some control of it close to the house, close to the water. And I have to make sure that I don't pollute because there's the well. So I have to be organic and the house is going to be there or the cabin let's call it uh, it's going to be the culture center and there if I'm any lucky I will be a man cave not per se cave but behind there there's plenty of room to build a real cave so, and the beds are pointing the long end, they're going north to south, so the sun just crosses over, crosses over. And here we can clean out here and we can put some fruit trees in there, or some edible trees, and some lots of trees that make great foliage. Right now I don't recall the name but as soon as I get them growing and there's some sumac make great tea uh, high in vitamin C and has nice head nice fall colors and this place here needs to be cleaned up too inside there but a nice little summer growth could do. So this is the nice panoramic view of a main garden area close to the house. Let's say area one for permaculture. Any suggestion will be appreciated. Thank you and bye from the Sonnenhof.